Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. Well, it's, the moment has finally arrived for what you've been waiting for, and that's we're going to begin the series on installing the uh, digital readout onto the Smithy 1340. So we've got the box here, and we'll get it all opened up, bring you over here and show you the contents of the box. Yeah, so this is what comes in the box, all right? You know, you've got your aluminum scale, you've got the sensor here that's mounted on it, you've got a couple extra, you know, some extra brackets here that you can work with. Uh, this is what mounts the, the readout itself right here, the display, we've got that. We've got some hardware here that we're going to use when it comes with these two batteries and two more, okay? I've already put the other two in here just to try it out. So that's basically what comes in the kit. And listen, you know, some of this you'll use, some of it you won't use, and it's all right. You just kind of do what you got to do to make it work, okay? All right, guys, I believe one of the first things we need to do is we need to just go ahead and move this mill head out of our way, and we need to get the table where it needs to be. All right, let's rotate this thing around here out of the way. All right, there we go. All right, now we need to get the table all the way as far to the left as we can. All right, and this table here, the y-axis, I'm gonna back it up to the stop here, right about there, okay? That's good, right, guys. I'm gonna try to get you up here as close as I can <clears throat> so you can sort of see what we're doing. So this is the, you know, the long 36 inch DRO. And this of course is gonna be the X axis. And on the back of the Smithy here, there's already some pre-drilled holes, all right? And these are four millimeter size holes, all right? But the big issue is that this one right here lines up, you know, we get that in there. But then down here at the bottom end, we're gonna have to drill and tap some hole, a hole down there. Right up in here on the Smithy, there's already a pre-drilled hole and that's a five millimeter hole, okay? So I've got me a little bolt here already cut off. Let me find the hole there, there it is. And it just screws in right there, okay? Just like that. And that's where my bracket's going to mount to move the sensor up and down. All right, so I've got me a little plastic spacer here that I'm gonna use. So I'm right, so gonna use this spacer, and I got another one just like it for the other end after I drill and tap the hole. But I wanna go ahead and get this, you know, let's get one end of the scale mounted. All right, so there's our screw. And again, this is a four millimeter, and there's the threaded hole that's already in the smithy. So you can see we've got that one end there mounted up and we're looking pretty good there now. So let's go look at the other end. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to raise up this end. And I've got me just a little magnetic level I'm going to lay on here. And I'm going to get the level to where the machine is. Right there. That's what we want. All right, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 1024 threaded hole right there. So that means I need a number 25 drill bit and a 1024 tap. All right. So I'm going to drill this hole and run that tap in there and then we'll fasten this end up. Okay, fellas, we've got our scale and our sensor here mounted up. You can see it slides back and forth, and I've got my I've got my cable, you know, down. I didn't really want it up. I was worried about it rubbing the underside of the carriage. And so I got it down and I'll route this up and around, you know, to where it's gonna be mounted at. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is, you know, i I know I've got this mounted now, but I'm gonna take it back off in a few minutes. So next up, I'm gonna take some measurements to see how far we're gonna to have to make our bracket to go back and then down and mount to these screws in the back. All right, gang. So this is the material that I'm gonna to use to make a little custom mounting bracket to go from the back of the moving sensor up to that you know, pre-drilled and tapped screw hole that's in the bottom of the uh, cross slide table on the Smithy, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over here to my little cutter and I'm just gonna whack this thing off and use this piece here 
and take some measurements and I'm going to get on the brake and make a bend just a you know a test subject to see how it fits okay Let's see how this thing looks up in here. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is, boy, did I get lucky or what? That thing is perfectly flush right there. Excuse me. All, so all I gotta do now is just drill a hole, you know, in this little bracket right there. And what I'll do is I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna clean this up, I'm gonna mark this and put it up there and then mark my plate, you know, mark my bracket, and then I'll mark the top of my my moving sensor here so that when I take it off and go over there I can locate my holes in the correct place and this is gonna be it man man we got so lucky on that right, so my daughter came to visit and she's out here in my recliner say hey hi yep so that's my baby girl Candace and she dropped by for a quick visit and she's just riding in my comfy chair yep all right guys so here's our little custom bracket that we made and I got my three holes in there to mount right there on the back of the moving sensor. All right, there we go. I've got this bracket all mounted up to the back of the moving sensor. And we'll go over and let's uh, put the unit back on the smithy and get it bolted up and see how it works. All right, guys, as you can see here, we've got it all mounted up. We've got our bracket mounted. We've got our moving sensor mounted to the bracket and the scale mounted to the smithy, okay? Put on there with a screw on each end. Here, you can see that with the table, all the way up as far towards the chuck as it can get. I've still got about a quarter of an inch of travel there. And now I'm gonna run it all the way down to the other end. So let's take a look at how it travels. There we go, all the way down till it hits the, uh, the tailstock here, okay? And that's as far back as the tailstock will go without it coming off the end of the bed. All right, and you can see I still have about an inch and a half almost two inches of travel left down here. So even if we were to take the tailstock off for whatever reason, it could still come another couple of inches. So guys, what's next? We need to figure out how we're gonna run this cable, you know, from the moving sensor all the way up and around the machine to where the digital readout is gonna be mounted at, okay? So I've got the table run all the way down and then I'll route the cable back around through there and I gotta come around to the front and I'm gonna bring you around here and we'll figure out where we're gonna mount the digital readout at. Okay guys, here's our digital readout right here that we're gonna mount up and I've already got it mocked up. You know, got it on the arm and on the bracket and I'm gonna show you here where I'm gonna mount this base part of the bracket at. So, if you look here, I've already got one of them here. Let me zoom in. I've already got one of them here, you know, clamped into place where I'm gonna put it. And the reason I'm gonna put it right there is, you know, when I drill these four holes and I tap them, this is a hollow cavity back here in the back of the smithy. And I don't have to worry about drilling into something important and damaging something or whatever. So I'm gonna mount it right there. I got it clamped. Now I'm just gonna go get my punches. And I'm gonna center punch this thing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill and tap four 832 holes, okay? 832 screws are what I'm gonna put in here. So I'm gonna drill them and tap them and all that and get that thing mounted on there and then I'll bring you back. All right, gang, so I got in here and I drilled and tapped, you know, my four 832 holes into the side of the mill head here. All right, so I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna take this longer screw here and come in right there with it. All right, guys, so, you know, we've got everything mounted up but what's left is probably one of the most important parts and that's securing this wiring here, okay? The last thing in the world we want is for the wire and the chuck to get tangled up and have a big argument and end up tearing something up. So we're gonna come around back here. I'm gonna walk back here and show you exactly what I'm gonna do to secure this cable. All right, gang, let's look at what we've got here. So we come on the end of the uh, scale and we took that mounting screw there and I put a standoff, a plastic standoff on it that the cable can slide through. And I came right here, I drilled an 832 hole, and I took a metal clamp and tightened it up where it's just lightly pinching the cable so it won't move. Same thing right here, 832 screw hole with a metal clamp, tightened up to just pinch it lightly so it won't slip. And I got all of my slack right here, 
so that if I need to rotate my mill head around 90 degrees, I can still do that. All right, guys, we've got it all mounted up here. Got some slack here so I can move it around a little bit if I want to, but it's probably going to live just in one place, you know, like right here where I can see it. You know, you just want it where you can see it. So let's turn the thing on now. All right, 33.8 is what we're sitting on now. So that's from going all the way up till it stops at the chuck to all the way back till it hits the tail stock, 33.8. guys so this finishes up our work on the X axis of the digital readout and so we've got this thing in installed we've got it mounted we've got the wire run we've got everything clamped down and it's looking good so, all right guys so the next video in this series is going to be the Y axis that we're going to put on you know to the cross slide table of the Smithy and get it do the same thing on it only we won't have to drill a bunch of holes here we'll just stack the next digital readout right on top of this um, X axis one okay well guys, I appreciate y'all watching this video and I hope you come back for the next one.